a piece of written music. The sequence to follow is eye, ear, and then playing through the body. Eye, ear, and playing. So you see the music, you hear the sound in your head, you realise that sound through the keyboard. Quite often though, I wonder how many people go straight from the written score to the playing. I was working with an adult student last week and he was talking, he was working on this piece, this Mozart piece, and uh, that's exactly what he realised he'd been doing. He'd been missing out this inner ear, this um, ear part of it. And that actually is the most crucial thing. So if I miss that out, and this will be a bit of an approximation, I know, but I'm going to go from reading to playing without listening first. Have a listen. to listen. I was really trying hard to be a button pusher, seeing a note, playing a note there. It's quite hard to do though sometimes. And you can hear though hopefully the quality of the sound. It really wasn't very nice. It was very harsh. It had lots of jaggedness to it, I would suggest. And that's because the ear was missing. Now why that happens is when we're at the keyboard and when we're going from what we see to the, what we play here, we become very fixed. And when we become very fixed, what happens to your muscles, and you might go and try this out yourself on an easy piece, just go and fix your muscles as tensely as you possibly can, like this, and it's a really good way of, of, of sort of exploring what happens. You fix them as tensely as you can, and then go and play. And you don't have to try. You can feel you don't do it for very long because it's really not very comfortable you can feel the tension in your in your hands you can hear that jaggedness can't you and then of course what the problem is is that when we play the piano we need exactly the opposite to make a beautiful sound we need expansion of the muscles which is why we're always working with a beautiful gestures coming out of the body going to the piano rather than jabbing into the piano. So to make a beautiful gesture means you will expand and that means that the sound quality, which is the centre of the learning, this is not about the learning, the centre of the learning is about sound creation. So as soon as I go ear, I ear and then realise it, I will automatically expand my muscles and I will get an increase beauty of sound. Let's try it, shall we? See whether it works. Definitely easier to play, definitely more engaging to be part of, and definitely um, something that gives the sound more richness, warmth and quality. And I just wonder how many of our students actually learn to go straight from the score to the piano without engaging that absolutely crucial inner ear that we have. And singing, playing by ear, um, realising the music in lots and lots of different ways, not just playing from the written score, can all help us develop that more refined, sensitive quality of, um, of listening. Listening, listening, listening is at the heart of everything that we do. Listening to sound and sound creation, there is the middle thing. That is the purpose of learning the piano. Without it, we, there's no real purpose, I don't think, without creating sound. Because sound communicates our feelings to other people. Well, hopefully that's given you a little taste of what's been going on in my head about all this, but that idea of connecting the eye to the ear to the hand and what happens to the sound when the ear gets missed out. 
Try it yourself. Try it with your students. Bye for now.